All right, welcome with 88 students. Uh, at this time, you've done a lot of work. Uh, hopefully you are pretty much uh, familiar with many of the items uh, and how to do in this course. I've met you uh, during a Zoom call. Um, you know, you've practiced emailing me, you've practiced an assignment, you've worked in a discussion board. So pretty much a lot of the dynamics that you're gonna be using all semester, uh, you've seen and you're ready to go. So now what we have to do is uh, get, your, get your foundation back. Uh, mathematics is a very complicated subject to learn because in order to build new ideas and understand new concepts, you have to have a foundation or you have to remember a foundation of items and ideas and, and lessons from your past. Um, so this is where it becomes very difficult. Uh, and so that's what we're gonna be trying to do in this module is we're gonna be trying to get all your material back. All right, so let me go ahead and without further ado, share my screen. Uh, there's our home screen. If we go to the modules, what you'll do is you'll find our uh, um, review module. And obviously you did find it because you're watching this video. Um, so let me just kind of follow you up there. All right, and uh, there's the video you're watching. And what you'll find on this is typically what I have for any module is an overview page with links to information and data as well as uh, as instructions. So in this case, there's basically three PDF files of review. I also have some suggested due dates. Uh, the first one should be done by the 19th, the next one by the 23rd, and the next one by the 25th. That way you're ready for your review test by at least uh, February, excuse me, January 26th. Obviously you can work faster than this, all right? Um, I encourage you to work faster so you can actually start the pre-calculus lessons. But as you've seen, if you wanna download a video, just press the downward button. What that'll do is upload, in this case, the function review. So this is basically just a review of what I call well-defined functions. I give you the function and the rule of the picture, and you basically are able to ask questions about it, uh, find x-intercepts, find asymptotes, find their domains, right? Get, do some graphing, solve equations with them. So uh, ver uh, so there's basically your function review. Um, if you press th uh, the next page is what I call an abstract function review. Uh, in this case, the problems are a little more difficult because the function themselves are not defined, all right? What I just do is give you information. Like I tell you that f of x is one to one, or I tell you what the domain and range of it is a function. And then based off of that information, you have to answer more questions. Um, and so you really have to have a strong understanding of functions because unlike the first uh, review where the functions are clearly defined for you, like I'm defining f of x to be negative x, the square root of x plus two there, right? In this case, I'm just giving you information about it. And then you got to answer questions. Uh, once you're in the know, you'll realize that all I'm basically doing is basically having you shift domains, shifts range, right? Which basically shifts the domain and ranges that we have. But more on that later as you go through. Um, there's also a third review page that deals with the right triangle situations of the Pythagorean theorem, all right? Um, and so again, you know, what is the Pythagorean theorem? What is a right triangle? How do you use them? As well as some special right triangle situations. So these are all the items that you should be familiar with and, and be working with prior to even attempting 188. Um, so I would encourage you guys to, uh, before you do anything else and go hit the next button here, upload all those files and try to do as many of the problems as you can by yourself, right? There's no pressure. I'm not making you turn any of this stuff in. You're just truly trying to get your knowledge base back. Um, with the exception of the videos that I'll show you here shortly, I do not plan on formally lecturing on this material. It's material that you should know prior to this class, all right? And then um, after attempting these problems, after watching my videos, participating in discussion boards, seeking my help, if everything is still over your head, if you're not having the aha moments uh, that you should be having, I strongly recommend that you drop back to a college algebra class 150 or maybe even all the way back to an intermediate or college algebra prep class. But that kind of depends on how, you know, your knowledge base. Uh, overall, once you fig feel you've done with your theory review, we're going to accumulate uh, this uh, or end all this by taking a review test. All right. And if you pass that review test, and that's pretty much a, a statement that you're ready for the course. If you don't, then you don't. All right. And then I'm back to my strong recommendations. But what I recommend before you go take the test, get this knowledge base back. And if you press next, what I have are videos. Um, um, I've prepared videos that go over every single problem that I just showed, shared with you on the review sheets. 
So this would be a great way for you to listen to my videos, watch my videos, hear my voice, hear my presentation, watch my presentation. And that way you're comfortable with how I do items because essentially this is what lessons are gonna be like in the future. So you wanna make sure that you do are comfortable learning from me. But in this case, I'm just breaking down every single review problem for the function review, right? If you press next, I got uh, videos for the abstract function review and concepts. And I've got videos for the right triangle Pythagorean video. So by the end of watching all these videos, you essentially have the answer key to all the uh, um, uh, items that were in the review sheets that I shared with you earlier. So that's why I'm saying don't worry too much about getting them right when you first initially start them because I'm basically giving you the answers. All right. So the next order of business is... Uh, um, you know, if that's not enough things to work through, I actually have uh, copied the review homework sets. Um, if I was using the textbook, the textbook has an appendix. Uh, there's four of them with uh, ideas. So the first one walks through how to solve equations and inequalities. The next one talks about how to graph equations. The next one's functions and working with functions. And the last one, I guess that should be number four there, right, is graphing functions using transformations and, symmet and symmetries. So if you press on any one of these, how about I do the function one? Uh, again, to upload it, you just press the downward arrow. And what will show up is basically the homework set on how to, do, you know, in this case, how to tell if something's a function, how to find domains and ranges, right, how to deal with function notation, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So uh, it's not as thorough as I think the review was. Um, it's again, another reason why I decided to ditch the book, uh, but it's what they have for you. So it's just extra practice. What you also notice is over here to the left are all is the answer key. So you actually have the answer key to everything you want. So again, if you want to practice graphing things with the transformations, you know, what you're going to do is hit the section A4, right? Upload that. And uh, there you go, right? So there's all the homework for manipulating functions, you know, shifting them up or down, left or right, um, seeing how their domains changes and whatnot. All right. So there, there's basically uh, some more homework if you choose to do so. Again, I'm not making you turn any of this in. It's basically your practice. You're the one trying to get all your aha moments back and get all your foundations in order. Uh, the next button in this module is a review discussion board. If some of my lessons weren't clear, if some of the homework you're struggling with, right, this is where you want to ask your questions. We are not, we are an online class, so the only you know area, unless you're planning on meeting with me during my office hours, this is a great place for you to pose your questions. Uh, you know, post a picture of your work, share your question with us, and hopefully, uh, you know, a student, a fellow student, or I will come in and help you out as much as we can. All right. And by the way, I'm just looking at this. This is a typo. Looks like I still left something from my face-to-face -face class, disregard that. I'm not testing you guys officially on January 25th. So I got to get rid of that message and it'll be read up. If you press next, uh, what you'll have is basically another assignment here. This is your review test. I want you to note that you only have one attempt allowed. So make sure that you've given a thorough review of everything, right? Um, and before you take this test um, and then you know convert all the files to upload them correctly, all right? Um, so what you should be doing is downloading the review test that's below, do the problems on your own. Again, we're trying to assess your knowledge and get a feel for where you're at. So don't have your, you know, your buddy do it for you because uh, they might know what you're doing, but we're trying to figure out if you know what you're doing. All right. Uh, convert them to proper PDF, JPEGs, or ping files. Upload your work when you start the assignment. I'll grade it, give you feedback, um, and go from there. All right. And I'm not going to open that up because I'm going to let you open that up. Right. And then that pretty much takes you uh, to the end of that. Yeah, there's our course calendar. So there's basically the review module, as all my modules do. Right. It has an overview page with the links and information. It has pages of videos for you to watch and instruction. It's got a homework set for you to practice the ideas. Basically, you're erping, right. You're reviewing, you're redoing and you're practicing. It's got a discussion board for you to uh um, to actually do items, all right, uh, to ask your questions. And then it's usually uh, most of my uh, modules end with some sort of a, a test or a quiz where you basically submit it for a grade, in this case, a 50-point quiz. 
So hopefully that gets you started there. Uh, please make sure you go through all that information, have all your uh, aha moments, see me if you need help via uh, the discussion board or in a uh, Zoom meeting, and uh, let's get you prepared to take Math 188. All right, other than that, I will let you guys get to work and I will talk with you guys later.